Today, we are trying out Thailand's express railway train that also happens to be the cheapest train ever. So, so cheap for it. A seat on this air-conditioned train costs just 50 baht. One and a half dollars for two <laughs> hours on the train. We are leaving Chiang Mai to visit the neighboring province of Lampang, which will be filled with non-stop adventure. Um, did that just happen? So sit back, relax, and enjoy the trip. From the looks of it, it seems pretty quiet these days, so we're gonna go and book our tickets now. I'm really excited to try out this train. Can we have two tickets to Lampang? Uh, 8.50 sitting aircon, 9.30 sitting fan. Uh, aircon. Aircon. Uh, yes. Two people. Yes. Two passports. Train number eight, Chiang Mai to Lampang. Okay, we got six minutes until our train leaves, so let's go. We're platform four. Platform four, yep. So you're probably wondering why Dev and I have to sit separately. Obviously it's because of social distancing, we cannot sit next to each other, but we're kind of sitting next to each other, so it's okay. We're officially moving. why we took the train is you can actually drive from Chiang Mai to Lampang on the bike but it is about two to two and a half hours which is a long time on the bike and we just thought it would be so scenic and you always see a different part of the country when you take the train so that's why we thought let's do that and it takes us right into the center of Lampang. it's actually a little bit more quiet on this side of the train because where we're sitting we've got the air conditioner right above us and it's actually quite rattly so here this is the fan area which is actually cheaper than the seats that we're sitting in and I think they're about 25 baht or something like that which is just mad under one dollar for a two-hour train ride so over here we can show you the comfortable seats we've got a lovely view of the roads and Nature, I'm going about, or up and about. We've even got outlets, we've got a lot of space to put our luggage, and this is going to be a really fun train ride. I am so so keen for it, and I'm actually, I can't even believe we're going to a different province by a train. We're not really used to that in South Africa, we don't have trains that go to different provinces, so this is a cool experience for us. One thing we do have to say for just how cheap this train ride is, it is so clean. So we would really recommend that you come and use the trains if you're traveling around Thailand. They're really comfortable, they're well kept, clean as I said. I'm really impressed for how much we paid. They really give you everything that you would need. It kind of feels like we're on the airplane to be honest. Like we have a fold down tray if we want to have something to eat and we have maybe like a seat pocket so we have if we have some books or something and there's actually a seat rest as well quite comfy i'm happy and there's only about 
five people on this whole train. So we're kind of just walking around and trying out different seats to kind of show you different parts of the train. to be on this train if you can't tell already <laughs> this is really cool I think you just get to see a different part of Thailand and a different perspective there are so many modes of transport song towels tuk-tuks airplanes boats as you can imagine but the train is really different it's just a totally different experience about being on the train and kind of just watching the world go by. It's a completely different experience to like being on the road because you kind of have to go through these little towns and you have to go through, well, where we are, through the jungle. Because we're going south now out of Chiang Mai, it is such thick jungle and it is so beautiful. These unknown parts of Thailand where it is just so thick, less just tropical, I love this. It is one of the reasons why I absolutely love Thailand. As Shiv mentioned, we don't have a lot of trains in South Africa. It's not a very common mode of transport. Let us know in the comments if taking the train is a regular thing for you because it isn't for us. So let us know if you have to take the train or even the subway on a regular basis and let us know if you like to take the train. So I just thought I would share what the bathroom situation is like. It might be a little bit noisy because the window is open in here, but there is a small basin with some running water and there is a toilet, but this is so interesting for me. There is just a hole going straight down. So there is no way to flush. The water just goes straight down. So I assume it's just the number one kind of toilet. It's about 10.38, so it took us about maybe an hour and a bit, just under two hours to get to Lampang, and we are finally here. So this is the town that we're gonna spend the next few days in. I'm excited. I have very little information about Lampang, so I'm so excited to just go out and explore. It's gonna be incredible. to Lampang we are at the railway station now we're gonna need to organize a motorbike and some sort of way to get to our hotel but we will show you that in the next video let us know if you've ever been on a train this cheap and if you would ever go on a third class or a second class train thank you so much for watching our trip to Lampang on the train and as Chef said we will be showing you all that we're going to be doing here in Lampang as well as our first impression so make sure you are subscribed so you can see that and we will see you in the next adventure. See you in the next one! Awesome! The 
This is unbelievable. This is so beautiful. It's kind of chaotic. That Did we was just so see? Cool. Oh my god, that was the coolest thing we I've read, ever seen. We read on. This is like what traveling really feels like. Like we're actually being tourists right now and yeah. getting completely amazed by. <laughs> by everything. Things, by everything.